Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian Y and this is Econometrics. In this video I will show you how to run a multiple regression in Stata and then talk about the omitted variable problem. I've got the wage2 dataset loaded up here. We're going to estimate a slightly augmented version of the Mincer equation of wage on years of completed education and years of experience. The wage variable here is monthly wage. So the interpretation here is that one year of education is going to give us $76 of monthly wage and a year of experience is going to give us about $17. If we want to predict someone's wage, we can use stored values. We're going to use underscore B constant plus underscore B education and then multiply by whatever years of education we're interested in, let's say a high school graduate with 12 years, and then underscore B experience for the experience coefficient. And let's say that our hypothetical person has been working for 10 years, and we can predict a monthly wage of $818. Now let's talk a little bit about the omitted variable problem. Omitted variable bias arises when we leave a variable out of the model, thus letting it slip into the error term, that is correlated with both our dependent and explanatory variable of interest. In our model here, let's suppose that we left experience out of the regression, and so we just run a regression of wage on education. What we can see here is our coefficient estimate went down. The sign of the bias due to an omitted variable is going to be the sign of the correlation between the omitted variable, that's experience, and the dependent variable, that's wage, times the correlation between the omitted variable, experience, and the explanatory variable left in the model, that's education. The correlation between experience and wage is positive. We can see that from our coefficient estimate right here. Although in a practical situation, you probably would have to speculate about this because you do not have the data. This time though, we can see that it's positive. Then we need to think about the relationship between experience and education. This is going to be negative because a year of education is going to reduce work experience. Going to college, for example, is going to delay entering the workforce. We can demonstrate this by running a regression of experience on education, and we can see that it is in fact a negative relationship. I do want to again emphasize that in an omitted variable situation, you do not usually have access to data on that variable, although this time we do just because of the example that I've chosen. Since we have a positive relationship here and a negative relationship here, that's going to combine to give us a negative bias if we leave the variable out. And that's exactly what happens. Comparing our education coefficient from when we had experience in the model, it goes down when we take it out of the model due to that negative bias we've introduced. Another way to think about this is by including experience in the model, we have removed a negative bias. And so our estimate is going to go up from 60 to 76 when we add that variable into the model. This has been a quick introduction to multiple regression and the omitted variable problem. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.